as we begin this new day, I simply want to encourage you that there is triumph on the other side of your struggles. And due to the fact there is triumph on the other side of our struggles, there should be a sense of gratitude. We should have a feeling of victory and there should be an atmosphere of worship and submission that surrounds us. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the triumph on the other side of the issues that we are dealing with. We thank you, Lord, for the sense of joy. We thank you for the feeling of victory, and we thank you for the atmosphere of worship and submission. And as we submit ourselves to you on today, we simply ask you to forgive us of the wrong that we have done. We ask you to forgive us of the wrong that we have contemplated, Lord, and we ask you to put us back on the potter's wheel, mold us and shape us into the vessel that is fit to be used for your purpose. Lord, as we strive to go on today with the spirit of gratitude, give us a mindset to be examples to those we come across in this dying world. Help us, Lord, to have a sense of victory and triumph, even in the midst of our struggles, in the midst of our difficulties, and in the midst of our hard times. And Lord, we ask that you create around us an atmosphere of worship and submission so that other people may see us walking victoriously and walk, see us walking in joy and come running asking, what must I do to be saved? Give us a mindset, Father, to evangelize the lost. Give us a mindset to be mentors to those who are seeking to go higher in you. Give us a mindset, Lord, to be disciple makers as we allow ourselves to be disciple. Lord, we ask you to bless those who are sick in their bodies and don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We ask you to bless those, Lord, who are struggling with issues in their home. And we ask you to bless those who are less fortunate. We ask you to cover them with your love. And we ask you to bless our children, Lord. We ask you to be a hedge of protection around them, Lord. And even on today, Lord, we ask a special prayer for the people of Baltimore, Lord. We know that there was an accident, Lord, and we know that people were people were hurt and people may have been lost, Lord, but we know that you are still sovereign and you are still Lord. And we ask you to, to embrace them with your love, embrace them with your peace, Lord, embrace them with the comfort and knowing that you are still God. You are still the mighty one. You are still the king of all kings. You are still the Lord of all lords. And we ask an, another prayer, Lord, for those who are grieving on today, Lord. We ask you to send your comforting presence, Lord. And we ask you to be with us, Lord, as we strive to be the best that we can be for your glory and for your honor. So, Lord, as we prepare to go forth on today, we ask you to give us a sense of gratitude and joy. Give us a feeling of triumph and victory. And give us an atmosphere of worship and submission, Lord, as we understand that there is triumph on the other side of our struggles. Encourage us right now, Lord, no matter what we are going through. And we will be so careful to give your name the honor, the praise, and the glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen. And remember, my brothers and my sisters, there is triumph on the other side of your struggle. God bless you.